Hi guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. I have to take Willow on a walk right now. Well, I don't have to, but I'm gonna take her on a walk right now. And then I have therapy in a little bit. And then after that, I will probably catch up with you. I'm pretty sure, not pretty sure, but I think tonight we're gonna decorate gingerbread houses. So I'll bring you along with that as well. And so yeah. Welcome to the vlog. Hi guys, we are about to decorate gingerbread houses and my mom got a kit where there's supposed to be like five houses which is perfect because there's five of us and we're going to have a competition but it's proven to be a little difficult to figure out how to put together but this is what we have so far. Here's all our candy options, got some frosting. We will see who wins. Your Here's my little mini house so far. Don't touch it yet. There's my mom's. There's Justin's. There's Josh's and my dad's working on his. Here's my house so far. I need to do the windows. Here's the sides, got a little wreath. Never said I was professional. All right guys, I finally finished my house and everyone else finished theirs before me. So here's my little house. I had a rough time with the front, but here it is. This is a mess. I don't know why I'm showing you in the back, but there's mine. And then this is my mom's. You gotta show them the front of it. I thought that was the front of it. Oh, cute. And then here's my brother Justin's. Here is my dad. <laughs> my mom helping him. And then here's my brother Josh's. Although, hold on one second. Here we go. There we go. There's his. Hey guys. I feel like I haven't really talked to you a whole ton today face to face. Um, but yeah, therapy earlier went well. I talked about, you know, anxiety over being sick, which whenever I get sick, even if it's something like a cold, which I have had, triggers my anxiety because it always makes me really nervous that being sick is going to trigger my mito to act up or my pots to act up or pick one and choose one basically of any of my health issues or chronic illnesses. So I talked about that in therapy today um, and now I'm on a break for the next couple of weeks and yeah, we decorated gingerbread houses like I showed you and that was really, really fun. Sorry, I'm trying. To, like not cough I still have a cough that is driving me insane and last night oh my gosh I did not sleep good because I was coughing and anyways it's just annoying but I'm on the mend I'm gonna take some elderberry syrup after I'm done with this and some honey because I know honey helps I just don't love the taste of honey um but yeah that's kind of been my day today it's been a very relaxing day and just taking a lot of rest because if you have a chronic illness I'm sure you can probably relate in this is that even when you're feeling back to yourself like I feel back to myself after being sick like you still have to take it easy like I can't just like go back into life and doing this and this and this throughout the day and going to like several different places throughout the week, I really have to kind of delegate my energy in a way or just make sure that I'm not pushing it and not overdoing it, which means I am unfortunately missing, unfortunately I'm missing a Christmas party I was looking forward to and I'm really bummed about that, but there was no way. There was no way. Like, if I went to the Christmas party, I would have fun and I would have a blast, yes, but I would expel a lot of energy there and 
be down for the rest of the week, possibly through Christmas, and I'm not willing to sacrifice, like, my actual Christmas for that, so even though it's a bummer, I'm okay and at peace with it. It's not the first time something like this has happened in my life where because of, you know, my health, I have to miss out on things. It just, it definitely stinks and isn't the easiest thing to always accept, but given that it's the week before Christmas, I think that makes it a little bit more easier to have peace with missing out on a Christmas party. That, and I've been telling myself today that I'm sure there's going to be at least one person who's there who has either been sick or has been around people who have been sick, potentially with something different than what I have had. And yeah, so, and I'm avoiding that. So I tell myself stuff like that sometimes to make myself feel better. But um, yeah, even though, like I said, I feel back to myself, I'm still at that point where like, if I truly push it, I know I'm going to pay for it. And it's weird to explain but, um, I need to connect to my TBN in a few minutes. Oh my gosh, I'm over this cough. And just to clarify, like, I'm fine. My lungs are fine. I'm back to, like, my normal, quote-unquote, for the most part. It's just a lingering cough from being sick. It's just that sort of deal. But, anyways, I have to connect to TBN and, um, yeah start going to bed getting ready for bed so I'm gonna head off and do that and I'm gonna close off this vlog I will see you guys tomorrow and talk to you tomorrow and I will see you guys tomorrow bye